Okay, so in the lesson on Friday I introduced the subject of depreciation and I'm just going to take you through um, all the adjustments at the bottom of the page um, which now look like this. Okay, let's quickly run through these. So if you look at um, where it says number two, it says distribution wage, wages owing 398, you got the accrual there and then rent paid in an advance 553 five, you've got a prepayment okay so let's just change this distribution wages owing so we need to find distribution expenses it will be in there so we get the 13500 and to it we need to add 398 and that changes to 13898 okay let's go back down Wages rent sorry rent paid in advance five five three, so um, rent sorry is the admin expense four four three oh two minus five five three, change it to four three seven four nine. Okay, let's go down. Uh, finance costs for the last six months are outstanding. So if you looked at listen to my last video. You just ignore it, it says six months, and you just calculate the finance cost based on the £20,000 loan times 8%, which is the annual rate, which gives you 1600 We'll do with the six months out studying when we do the balance sheet. Estimated tax expense, remember that just goes in the income statement, and it will also go in the balance sheet later on. And the new thing is the depreciation. Straight line method first, which is the cost times the depreciation percentage. So we find the cost of the machinery. Go up. Machinery costs 20 grand. Sorry if that's a bit quick. 20,000. And the percentage is 20%. And if you work that out, four thousand pounds that goes in the income statement okay vehicles is the reducing balance method so it's the NBV net book value times the depreciation percentage net book value remember is the cost minus the provision for depreciation which you can see in a minute it will be above on the trial balance times by the percentage. So the cost of the vehicle is 45. Take away the provision for depreciation and you can see it's there. The 11250. It's always going to be there. And then you times that answer by 25% and you get eight four three eight round it at the same time it might be an idea to update the existing provisions so if you look up here key thing to notice these provisions are both at the first of july which is at the beginning of the actual year what we want to do we need to update it to take account that we've depreciated it this year Okay, buy four thousand. Get that from the calculation you did there. Okay. So change that. If you add four thousand to that, your new provision, which is gonna go on the balance sheet, is eight thousand and the motor vehicles we depreciated it by Remember 8438 down there. We need to add that 8438 to that, and that becomes 19. I think it was 688. Okay. And that also goes on the balance sheet, like so. Don't forget these two numbers go in the income statement 